Am I on one? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, sorry. Hello, everyone. Uh, today I just uh, try to find what is the channel. What is the channel of the DJI? My DJI Phantom 3 Standard is now being there for experiment. So, at this time, I will show you what I found what I just found about channeling so as all we know that DJI has for DJI 3 standard has the 13 channel and I just uh, installed the application for my Android the application is called the Wi-Fi analyzer and so I can find uh, any Wi-Fi around around my position now and I can find out how much the DBM power of each Wi-Fi transmitters and now is the video wait a second I am going to play this video while I am talking to you about the uh, experiment so this is the video and I am taking my Samsung Galaxy S4 and I'm installing this and you, you can see this Wi-Fi analyzer the icon like this you can try this at home if you want to so I go inside the uh, application and I found that is my that is my home Wi-Fi okay. my home Wi-Fi and there is uh, the uh, the graphic of the uh, the X power and I don't know what is that for but the most important is the list the channel list you can see this my my uh, my home Wi-Fi using channel one let's continue now and and then I turn on the, my DJI 3 standard both the RC and the quad and then I'm waiting for the Wi-Fi signal while I'm waiting but I think I, uh, I have to quit this application and enter back to enter the application because there is no no detecting so still one and the, this is a channel one channel one okay, wait, wait. so I'm going out and go and wipe all the uh, background application and now I'm going back here you can see the uh, here I can find my phantom 3 standard and it's going to the to channel 6 going to channel 6 and the my home Wi-Fi is still on the channel 1 the channel 6 with the text power minus 37 dBm let's continue okay the channel 6 and then I'm going to, to try to uh, make some Wi-Fi transmit as as much as I can and I have a tab a galaxy tab 2 in here and I'm going to uh, turn off the uh, tethering so I can find a new signal of Wi-Fi okay let's see what my Android application will find out here so I think this application is always always need a uh, restart so it can detect see you can it, it can detect now the new the new Wi-Fi signal this is my Android uh, it comes to channel 11 so uh, now I have three Wi-Fi signal one is my home Wi-Fi this phantom Wi-Fi and the Android my Android tethering Wi-Fi let's continue channel 11 channel 6 and channel 1
this is the uh, power transmit so uh, as you can see the uh, my android my android tethering have a bigger power than the phantom and the, uh, my home wi-fi continue again it's live and it's coming up down depending on the distance but this tree signal is very close to me very close to the um, to my android and now I'm going to try to using the uh, my action cam my action cam also has a Wi-Fi transmitter so I have to try this uh, as much as I can to transmit a new Wi-Fi SSID or Wi-Fi signal here I'm using my tab my um, sorry my note my galaxy note 10.1 and I'm connecting to the action cam action cam H9 it's connected then back to out and I'm running the uh, application so I make sure that the connection is, is there let's see okay so the uh, my note and my camera has been connected by uh, yes by new Wi-Fi signal of course let's see now uh, let's see on my application there you can see this is one two three one two three still three should be four now so I'm restarting my the application and here you can see this now you can see the uh, my home the phantom the action cam and my tap that ring the uh, action cam and phantom has the same channel and is wait let's continue there oh no okay there right there you can see the the phantom and the action cam has the same channel at the channel six so that will be in big interference and not good for the phantom okay you can see now there is a four there's four wi-fi connection and it stays the same channel 6 and channel 6 with the the action cam has uh, has a, a bigger yeah I think it has a bigger power than the, the phantom okay come on come on come on come on let's go fast now the most interesting thing is when I'm trying to use the SIMA my my SIMA X5C as you know it SIMA also using 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and, and now I'm connecting my SIMA and you can see here connecting and connected now okay it's connected it's not disconnected it's connected I'm going to refresh the app of course just like before going out and going in again here the, the meter and uh, I will look at the this is the Wi-Fi list you can see this there is no SIM no SIM signal I don't know why, but is is Sima using other, other channel in the 2.4 GHz or maybe Sima using other frequency? I don't know, but it's not detected on my Wi-Fi analyzer. I'm still detect four. Here you can see that. Okay, there is no Sima transmitter 
or SIM uh, Wi-Fi Wi-Fi signal no signal no signal okay now I'm going to try to turn off everything and let's see what will happen no no I'm sorry I'm turn off the uh, Pentum as you know before the Pentum and my action cam has the same channel as 6 channel 6 and now I'm turn off the Pentum I'm turn it on again and without turning off uh, any Wi-Fi any else Wi-Fi and see what happened there okay it's on see that you see that it's move moving yeah it's moving so now the uh, the phantom tree my phantom tree has moved to other ch other channel the, the empty channel in this case the empty channel is channel 2 and it moves so it try to get away from any interference any any same channel it's going automatically looking for other channel that not used this is good yeah it's quite good so it's mean that you have to use the phantom after all Wi-Fi channel turn on and the Pentum should be the last one using or uh, choosing the channel still no signal from SIMA I don't know I, I'm wondering how it can how how come SIMA has no channel has no signal Wi-Fi Okay, now this is the explanation. As you can see here, there, there. this is the channel categories. I just found it on my by uh, Google. I'm sorry, uh, by Google. So we have to. I have to determine the channel. Now, if I can see the channel, wait, wait, wait. All right, there's. The action cam using the channel 6 means it's using the 2.437 megahertz or 2. I mean 2.437 gigahertz. The channel 11 using 2.462 and and others. So this is the channel the channel breakdown. Oh why I'm moving yeah 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 you see the channel is just the same as the uh, what is uh, what is displayed on my application the channel 11 is 2462 the channel 3 channel 4 channel 5 so each channel has a different frequency wondering I'm wondering the channel 13 can be used for random because no 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 other interference on channel 13 or you can call 2.472 gigahertz frequency it's so rare rare uh, rarefied using this frequency let's continue and then if you see the uh, channel 14 channel 14 I believe channel 14 is not used by any other Wi-Fi uh, internet Wi-Fi or, or action cam or anything I think the channel 14 is very free for use they will they will be not interference but let's see in the bottom of the uh, graphic here 
see here the two point for guys channel contain a fast from amount of overlap which is may it which is why some routers only allow you to choose from channel 1 6 and 11 so one channel one channel six and channel eleven should be used should be used for the Wi-Fi router internet Wi-Fi router but not not for action cam or any other Wi-Fi internet router so it's still dangerous and what 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 I'm wondering here is here the use of channel 14 isn't permitted in the UK so yeah just like uh, FCC and CE mode on DJI so why not we are using the channel 14 let's continue isn't permitted it means there is no one will use the channel 14 it's totally free free of interference free of the same channel it's for a drone it's for a quadcopter why not okay that's all that's all guys so i hope my video can you know, explain about the channeling 1 to 13 and the channel 14 is it's, i think it's a very good it's a very good position for our channel for the dji channel wait wait let's see what what is the frequency for the channel 14 oh let's go back there the channel 14 is the channel 14 is 2.484 gigahertz if you are a programmer or you are a hacker or scripter or anything please help us how to keep the, the the drone the quadcopter in the channel 14 because it's totally free totally no inf interference and nobody use it except for the quadcopter itself so guys that's all thank you for watching and uh, please comment on the below don't forget to subscribe and like and everything just I just want some discussion on the comment for we can find a good result I was to I have to stop this right bye, bye guys but how to stop this